All right, guys, so this is a 2014 Toyota Camry. Um, I did a uh, transmission, so the, 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 the guy that owns it was complaining that the shift from second to third was sluggish, and sure enough, it, it was the most sluggish shift I've ever felt. Every other gear shifted perfect, um, but going from second to third, it was almost like uh, it was almost like the engine dies for just a, for about two seconds, and then it it picks up and starts pulling. Third to fourth was fine. Fourth to fifth, fifth to sixth, all the other shifts were perfect. So I did a transmission service on it. He had never had the transmission service. The car's got about 113,000 miles. So he wanted to do a transmission service in the hopes that that fixed it. I told him I would do that for him, but he needs to be aware that that could actually cause more problems uh, putting new fluid in. So just be aware of that. He, he understood. He was prepared to put a transmission in this vehicle. And what I ended up finding, so I did the fluid change, drove it, still had the same problem came back and I just simply reset the compensation value and that took care of the problem and I'm going to run through the the procedure real quick on how to reset the compensation value the first thing you need to do is uh, on the side of the transmission normally on these transaxial transaxial vehicles that's right there on the front of the transmission underneath the battery kinda um, you can generally see it without having to remove anything. Um, let me show you the picture here of what the what the placard looks like. Hopefully, you're going to be able to see this. Okay, so this is a picture of the side of the transmission. You can see that little placard right there. That's the compensation label. Um, so right here's the battery. This is the battery tray. This is that label. And see all those numbers? You got three rows going horizontal, four rows going vertical. You enter all these numbers in the uh, uh, on the page of the scan tool to reset the uh, compensation value or compensation code. So I'm going to show you here on the Autel how to do that. Um, obviously first you have your key in, uh, you get to the make and model of the vehicle make sure you have your compensation value it's easy just to take a picture of it that way you've got it you can also just write it down this is the one gripe that I've got with the Autel is it, it sometimes some vehicles that boots up right uh, pretty quick to the page other vehicles it take takes a little while we're gonna go to special functions now on the Toyotas, it's under engine and ECU. Some vehicles have a separate uh, transmission module that you're going to go to. Now, if you look right here, automatic code registration. You're just going to go into that. <clears throat> this is uh, use this function to reset transmission learned values and enter compensation codes. You're going to hit OK. It's got a little warning there. Um, I'm not going to go completely through the procedure, but basically what it does is whenever you get to the page where it tells you to enter the compensation value, it's going to have a little uh, input screen with three rows horizontal, four rows vertical, just like on the label, and you just enter those numbers exactly the way it is on the label. You hit continue, it takes about a minute as it's reprogramming the uh, transmission control module. Whenever it's done, it says complete, and that's it, it's done. So 
so whenever you get to this screen you've got a little uh, drop down menu that uh, you can either set compensation code or read compensation code we'll go ahead and read this one I should have probably done this just to see if it matched up with what was in the car but I didn't but right here is what your compensation code looks like it says it's three rows across four rows down that's the current code that I just programmed in this vehicle I'm not sure if that code was word for word or letter for letter a number for number in this car that should have been but it may not have been but I do know that after I reset it or re-entered re the actual compensation code off of the transmission that fixed the shifting issue so it could have become corrupt uh, or something but uh, that's what the compensation code looks like and whenever you do the registration all you do is you input those numbers and uh, give it a minute to, to reprogram the computer and you're good to go anyway I just wanted to go over that just in case you're having a shifting issue with your transmission even if you have to take it to a shop just ask them to reset the compensation value and see if that takes care of it it should be a pretty cheap uh, procedure I mean if I was to do it for someone I, I wouldn't charge them over fifty dollars to do that but I'm just a you know I do this on the side um, to me anything more expensive than that it literally takes 10 minutes 15 minutes from start to finish that's the computer that's the scan tool booting up and everything so uh, you know find out what they had charged you to do that and it, it might it might fix the problem anyway that's all I got later